So let's just treat the Dreamland SA as a pilot. This is the purest representation of the Kirby series as a whole. As a whole. Inhale, swallow, copy, hat, partners. That's all you really need to know about Kirby's full potential in nearly every game since. While well, Dreamland had you suck and spit, this game had used in so much potential, pulling in from Adventure's prototype copy mechanic, which had two buttons and eight bits, expanding it on in sheer 16-bit joy. Let us not mention, not, not forget to mention, that this game isn't so much one large adventure like the previous three games, but seven smaller ones. Re-experience same of Dreamland 1 is playing Rees, journey through a similar but new land to fight Dynablade, experience the cinematic action of Meta Knight's Revenge, even going splunking in a Metroidvania mode called the Great Cave Offensive. All of these and more culminate in one last mode of the main story, in which a wish-granting machine called Nova lets an evil jester named Marx conquer planet Popstar for no reason explained in the game via throwing the sun and moon to keep that keeps the balance in disarray. Hmm. Reminds me of another Super Nintendo game's plot. Kafka. Maybe just me. Anyway, a fun little romp. But all the modes are too short for me to wa really want to replay it. Not enough substance. It's like I'm be all tapas. Fun to have once in a while, but not enough substance and too big in order to dreamland to really justify itself for me. Otherwise, this game gets a three hats out of seven would-be grander adventures.